and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be continuing the Heavensward Gathering leveling series for levels 54 to 55. And as always, hello from Mifri. So basically, um, other than what we've been doing already, we're going to throw in, if we can, um, Temple Leaves. And when I say, if we can, it's because at this sort of level range at 54 plus, it will say, for example, travel to the Churning Mist, equip a secondary tool, and commence harvesting. Now, this is a sort of leave where you have to go somewhere, activate the leave, and just gather and gather and gather until you're done. But if you have not got far enough in the story to do that, then, of course, those leaves are not very much, well, they're not worth much, let's say. But we can keep doing what we're doing, even if you can't get to the areas. So you can keep doing the collectibles as we've done in the previous episodes you can keep doing the grand company turn-ins and believe me when i say if you just do those and nothing else you will level up super super fast like look at me now so my miner's is halfway to 57 already so my mind has been shooting way ahead my botanist and fisher are the 54 to uh, 55 region but, you know, the, each of the levels are going by really quickly. Like, they're shooting way far ahead of my crafters as well at this point. So, again, every 12 years and hours, you can go get more collectibles. That's why it's very, very powerful. And um, even until now, we're still collecting the old fig world figs. But you can actually get collectible Quarf and Tea Leaves, actually, if you have 400 collectability. Um, so if you have good gear, you can go after those as well. These spawn, the Quarf and Tea Leaves, at 10 a.m. or 10 p.m. in Western Corpus Highlands. These, I'm not sure, but, 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 I, someone in the community has been compiling a very, very great uh, collectibles spreadsheet which I'm going to link in the description. So if you want to go after bigger collectibles, then um, feel free to use that spreadsheet. Just remember, though, that the required uh, collectability in order for them, for the, sorry, for the collectible appraiser to accept it, you know, is you need to have as much perception as you possibly can if you want to be able to make sure you get enough collectability um, from the items. And as well, uh, also remember the fact that you know it's just it is a lot of traveling it's a lot of things so ideally you don't have to but ideally it would be nice if you've unlocked flying in the different areas before you go after the other uh, collectibles as well but it's, there, it's not required but it just it will save you so much time because the flying mounts are so fast and when it comes to fishing just grind it out just pick a nice fishing spot at an appropriate level range and just fish and fish and fish and you will be um you'll do the entire level probably in an hour because fishing is incredibly fast so um i'm gonna leave it at that for now I'll keep this one brief and we'll see at level 55 if we if we can go after some of the higher collectibles so anyway guys that's it for this episode thank you for watching and as always goodbye from me and goodbye from mifri <laughs>